NRM TV e doboze di mirembe fellow compatriots Ugandans I greet you all uh, today I want to talk about few things we need leadership that is reliable that understands what people go through every day now prices of essential commodities are high people are struggling with fuel prices there is no alternative ideas children are no some of them are not going to school the situation in karamoji is alarming young kids are starving the country is not in a good situation somehow it can be understood that it is a global situation because it is not happening in uganda alone but is there some alternative ideas for that reason there are far for example what is keeping africa lagging behind one of the reason for keeping that situation of lagging behind is corruption rampant corruption there is a reason of irresponsible and responsive leadership the civil war caused by minor and chauvinistic ideas there is also outdated government policies poor infrastructure development foreign interference then behavior of citizens backwardness illiteracy and income inequality for that reason when you look at all those issues combined together you understand that african people must do something to change the situation now today uganda we have oil we have gold and other minerals but there is no much work done to sensitize people citizens on how they should embrace it how they should be prepared to control it and benefit from it literally meaning that vultures i mean those greedy people from somewhere outside the african continent can take advantage of the situation especially when citizens are not mobilized for that reason you see our generation especially young people youth they are not well sensitized they are not prepared to embrace new changes instead they are mainly focused on baiting talking about politics only talking about it but not putting it in action now right now if you look at what is going on in nrm sec meetings of which i think is not right one of the principles of nrm is democracy democracy means that you give people a chance to participate in politics freely to have a choice on who should lead them not to endorse someone that should go and it's fine to have a choice as at the top leadership but you should give power to people that is democracy for example for the case of nrm in nrm right now we have been in power for the last 36 years reason being we have been pro people but those with and people tac tactics should be avoided should be isolated by all means necessary should be exposed i'm saying this without fear that whoever is trying to play tactics that divides our people tactics of ideas that are so archaic or the ideas should be isolated and even exposed uh, yesterday i saw people were complaining over the same issue trying to go against the decision of sec members uh, and i think they are right nrm should should give a platform to everyone especially young people to talk about politics in this country and actually walk the talk right now the main topic that is on the hearts of the people and mind is a peaceful transition a peaceful transition is very important because it is needed at this time and we must just adhere to the to the rules of leadership that peaceful transition should be discussed largely and openly because if you look at all this that is going on we must secure the future of our country how do you secure it for example if there is violence the business sector cannot thrive or cannot grow those in uh, public service you you have no guarantee of your job that you will retain it that's why the reason we should come together over this issue and talk about it 
because it is necessary. We must be prepared to face the future. Uh, look at farmers. You cannot say anything when the country is in turmoil, when roads are broke. Investors cannot come into the country to invest because of polit a political broken system. People must respect institutions. People must open the be straight and talk about what is important. For that reason, therefore, I come here to you all to tell you that we must change the behavior. We must be open and speak without fear. Because Ugandans need to know the direction we are taking. Yes, it is important to note that uh, we have leadership in place, but at a party level like NRM, if you start to endorse people, and stop democracy, people to contest and campaign and vigorously rally people to, behind the, to, to, to go behind them and vote for reasons openly, then there is a problem. So we need to talk about transition, we need to talk about how we can go about it, we need to take a very strong f step forward and we need to bring everyone on board, especially the majority, the young people, 78% of them they are not sensitized and for us we are taking that risk and that burden to go ahead and tell them what to do thank you nrm tv